Well, Fetani, thank you very much for this presentation on stem cells in human milk. It's my Could pleasure. you quickly explain what was the way you took to get to this discovery? Mm -hmm. um, so I was finishing my PhD uh, at, at the University of Western Australia. I was writing my thesis when I came across Mark Cregan's and Peter Hartman's paper uh, in 2007 uh, that they had just discovered that human milk may contain cells with stem cell properties. Um, and then many people asked the questions, are these true stem cells and what can they do? Um, so I was really fascinated when I read that paper and um, it, it really changed my life, I have to say, because I uh, started asking the question, what, why are these cells in human milk? Are they true stem cells? And um, I then contacted Professor Peter Hartman and I expressed my interest in uh, contributing to this work. And he gave me the opportunity, so I'm very grateful for that. Um, and then I started um, investigating these cells, and one led to the other um, when we are here today. So could you quickly exemplify what kind of cells, which major groups of cells do we find, um, and among them then stem cells? Mm -hmm. So human milk is a very heterogeneous fluid. It's got many different cell types. Um, you couldn't really think how many uh, because it's, it's got a whole cellular hierarchy from stem cells that are at a very early stage of their differentiation to different types of progenitor st cells, intermediate steps, to the fully mature differentiated lactocytes and myoepithelial cells that are the functional cells in our breast and the lactating breast. And of course, in addition to these breast-derived cells, breast milk contains cells that come from the blood circulation, including immune cells uh, and, uh, and blood stem cells and other cell types. Uh, so it is very unique composition and very heterogeneous. And I think we are only just starting to grasp the importance and the uh, heterogeneity of this uh, fluid in terms of its cellular composition. So I would say that um, to simplify it, the main types of cells that we see in human milk are immune cells. There are not very many when the baby and the mother are healthy, but they are still there. And then we have epithelial cells from the breast and a small population of cells that uh, are not immune cells and are not epithelial cells that may come from the blood circulation or different organs. Mm -hmm. If you go back to the stem cells as a last question, um, what do stem cells or what is the function of the stem cells um, for the baby? That's a very important question to ask and it's um, one that I'm mostly interested in because it's not just one, two or ten stem cells that we see in human milk. It's hundreds, thousands, millions to billions of cells that a baby ingests every day from the mother and so these cells have to have a function to be so many. Um, and uh, there are so many studies um, uh, showing that um, immune cells from uh, breast milk in animal models can pass through the gut, get into the blood and migrate to different organs and provide immunological support. That's in animal models, that's very difficult to do it in humans. But if the immune cells can do that, we hypothesize that the stem cells can also do that. So we think that they migrate into different organs and provide some developmental benefit to the baby. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.